This video is on the ring opening of epoxides. Epoxides are cyclic ethers that are three members long. They look something like this. And they can be opened under basic conditions, SN2, or acidic conditions, SN1. Both give different stereochemistry and regiochemistry, hence it's important to know both methods. Under basic conditions, you have an SN2 reaction where your base or your nucleophile attacks the less substituted, less bulky carbon of the epoxide, breaking the ring, at which point that alkoxide anion that is formed then gets protonated or further used as a nucleophile. Now let's look at the acidic conditions. If we were to open the same epoxide with sulfuric acid and methanol, we would obtain this product. Notice the difference in regioselectivity? Let's look at this in more detail. If we mix the epoxide in strong sulfuric acid, the oxygen is going to get protonated, making this a much better leaving group. At this point, we are going to see a somewhat SN1 reaction, but we only get attack from one face because even though the leaving group is somewhat leaving, it's still hovering over one face, blocking it. So we only have access to the other. So in other words, this is an SN1 reaction, but with inversion. Dun, dun, dun. Anyway, be aware of that, and uh, make sure to apply the correct stereochemistry and regiochemistry when it matters. Now you have a goal. What are the products of the following reactions? You may pause now. And here are the answers.